In this video, we'll talk about advanced MIDI editing. If you double-click a clip and open it in one of the editors, you'll see the MIDI editing button right here. And these same editing functions are available in the step editor, which you can see right here. But for now, we'll go back to the piano edit window. I've played a simple passage, and we'll do some edits on this. If I click the MIDI editing button, the first option that comes up is quantize. Quantization lets you clean up performances by moving earlier late notes closer to a specified note value. If you look here, my intention was to play these notes right on beat 2, but you can see that I played them a little bit late. By quantizing these notes, I can move them automatically to land exactly on beat 2. Here in the quantize box, I've got the note value set at 8th notes and strength set at 100%, which means that notes will be moved exactly to the note value. And here I've got the start times box checked, which means that only the beginnings of notes will be affected, which is the most common way you'll want to use quantization. So if I press OK, you'll see these move over exactly to beat number 2. If the strength is set to a lower value, say 50%, then the notes will only move halfway to the selected note value. Here you can see there's still a little space between them. You'll probably find yourself using 8th notes and 16th notes most frequently, but as you can see, there's a whole range of MIDI quantization values available, and the triplet note values are very useful if you're doing triplet feels. The next checkbox in the list is note ends, and this means that quantization only affects the endings of notes. Now, it might not be obvious where this would be useful, because most of the time you don't need to quantize note ends, but one place where I found note end quantization to be really useful is when I'm playing a bass part that uses electric bass samples. Here we've quantized an electric bass part to eighth notes. Here's what it sounds like. Not too realistic, but if we quantize the endings of the notes to eighth notes, it makes all the notes touch each other, which sounds a lot more like a real electric bass part. Checking the swing box allows you to quantize with swing or shuffle, and you can see right here it says swing delays the start time of every other note. 50% is a pretty common setting, but you can turn it up even more if you want to swing even more. This may take some experimentation. Here I've put a part that you might recognize. But it's played pretty sloppily, so let's quantize with swing. I've got the note value on 16th notes, swing set at 50%, and note ends turned off because swing quantization doesn't work with note ends. The all or selection buttons let you select whether quantization affects only these selected notes, for example, or all of the notes in the clip. This can be useful if you only want to quantize a couple of the notes in a clip. For example, with the selection button checked, and just these two notes selected, if I quantize these, only these two move. If I have the all button pressed, all the notes in the clip get quantized regardless of which ones are highlighted. Quantization can really help to make MIDI performances sound cleaner and more professional, but used too much, parts can begin to sound robotic and bland. The Humanize Notes function lets you inject a degree of randomness into performances for a more natural sound. The Max Adjustment parameter specifies the largest time Mixcraft will move notes by. Checking the Start Time box means that the randomization will affect where the beginnings of notes occur. The pop-up menu instructs Mixcraft to move notes either before the beat for a more rushing feel, behind the beat for a more dragging feel, or randomly to move notes before and after the beat. For example, in this performance, all of my notes are very tightly quantized on the beat. If I set the max adjustment to 50 milliseconds and the start times to early and press OK, you can see all the notes move over to the left a little bit, but not exactly by the same amount for each one. That's already sounding a little livelier. The duration checkbox adds a degree of randomness to note lengths with the same early, late, and random parameters as the start time option. I'll set this to random, and when I press OK, you'll see the ends of the notes change. The note velocities area lets you randomize how hard or soft notes are played. This can be really useful for MIDI parts created directly inside one of Mixcraft's editors when all the notes play at the same velocity. This frequently occurs with programmed drum parts. Here we have an either-or scenario. With the randomized by percentage box checked, small values don't change much from their original values. With higher values selected, no velocities can vary a great deal from their original value. Just for demonstration, I'll set this to 100% and press OK, and you can see the note values down here vary quite a bit. If I choose randomize and range, this shuts off randomized by percent, and this means I can set the notes to randomly play in a certain range. 
For example, if I've set the low and high settings to between 1 and 10, all the notes will play very quietly. Down here I have the same all and selection options as in the quantize window. If I've got a couple of notes selected, I can choose selection, and the humanize notes parameters will only affect those notes, or I can select all, and they'll affect everything in the clip.